Minneapolis Conference. Right now it's a battle of wills. Now it just comes down to fatigue. Who has better legs coming into the second overtime? We're going to go into another four-minute session as Brooklyn College steps onto the floor in their white jerseys, yellow numbers, maroon letters, Medgar Evers on the courts in their black jerseys, yellow trim, yellow starts going from right to left here in the second overtime. Swaby being guarded by Confino, setting up the offense, steps back, picks up his dribble, right wing George, top of the key, Vanilla. Left baseline, jump shot is in and out, no good for Thomas. Fight for the ball, fighting, fighting. Confino has it, and we have a whistle and a foul is called. It'll be against Medgar Evers, and it will be Brooklyn College basketball. Game tied at 85. Fouls called on Giovanni Dambreville. And two shots coming up right now for Niv Confino to try to put Brooklyn College back on top. Something to keep in mind, Enos Nikovic has fouled out of this mm -hmm. ball game. He is completely unavailable for the remainder of this game. Confino, one of the better shooters on this Brooklyn College roster. First free throw off the back rim, no good. Three big free throws missed for Brooklyn College down the stretch. Two by Austin Wood that would have won the game in the first overtime. And the missed free throw right here for Brooklyn to start the second overtime. Confino, second free throw. Missed them both. Four in a row. Rebound Danbreville for Medgar Evers. 3.35 to go in the second overtime. Medgar Evers has the ball. The game is tied at 85. Inside Danbreville, turns, puts it up off the glass and in as Maynard Grants fell down. Medgar Evers regains the lead, 87-85, 3.18 to go in the second overtime. Left wing Wood, left wing three-pointer, knocks it down for Austin Wood to give Brooklyn College a one-point lead, 88-87, approaching three minutes to go in the second overtime. 26 points for Austin Wood to lead Brooklyn College. Midcourt Vanilla, far right wing Swaby, picks up his dribble, 15 on the shot clock for Medgar Evers, top of the key, Danberville, dribbles to the foul line, left baseline, it's Thomas, left wing Danberville, 7 on the shot clock, top of the key, Swaby, 5 on the shot clock, 3 on the shot clock for Medgar Evers, top of the key, 3 pointer, off the glass, no good, rebound goes to Baptiste for Brooklyn, into the front court, Wood, setting up the offense at the near right wing for Brooklyn College. Two and a half to go here in the second overtime. 17 on the shot clock. Confino picks up his dribble. Midcourt Baptiste. Midcourt Grant for Brooklyn. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Right wing Wood crossing over to the foul line. Picks up his dribble. Top of the key, McElhane. Dribbling inside Grant. Left wing Wood. Left corner, Baptiste. Three-pointer off the side rim. No good. Rebound George for Medgar Evers. Medgar Evers down by one. Two minutes to go. George off the glass. No good. But a foul is called. It's on Brooklyn College. Foul's called on Austin Wood. And Jovan George will go back to the free throw line for Medgar Evers. That's the fourth foul called on Austin Wood. Jovan George. A chance to give Medgar Evers a one-point lead. Brooklyn leads by one just over two minutes to go in the second overtime. First free throw is in and out. No good for Jovan George. He'll get one more foul shot. Once again, the importance of free throws down exactly. the of this ball game, Adam. I can't preach it enough here. Second free throw. Missed them both. Rebound Baptiste for Brooklyn. Both teams have missed two free throws here in the second overtime. Brooklyn by one. Just under two minutes to go in the second overtime. Brooklyn has the ball. Confino to the right wing. Bounce pass to the right wing. Wood crossing over. Drives. Top of the key, Grant. Left wing three-pointer. It's good for Chris McElhain to put Brooklyn College up by four points. 91-87. 135 to go in a palming violation. It's called on Medgar Rivers and Brooklyn College up by four points. We'll get the ball back with 134 to go here in the second overtime. As Jafet Thomas for Medgar Rivers limped off the court there. He'll be substituted for by number 25. That's Russell Mitchell. Russell Mitchell for Medgar Rivers. Brooklyn College up by four. They have the ball. 1.30 to go here in the second overtime. Inside Wood. Turns. Hook shot. Off the glass. No good. Wood gets his own rebound. And a new 30-second shot clock for Brooklyn. Wood wisely taking time off the clock. Midcourt Confino holding the basketball. 
Far left wing, Baptiste. Midcourt, Grants. Right wing, Wood. 13 on the shot clock. Inside, McElhine. Cutting inside. Puts it up. No good. Fight for the ball. And a bounce. Last touch by Brooklyn College. It'll be Medgar Evers basketball. Down by four points with one minute and three seconds to go here in the second overtime. And Coach Rich McCall thought he, his player was hooked down there, giving the ref the, the evil death stare. Yeah. Well, we still have basketball going on here. Under a minute to go. Brooklyn College up by four. Medgar Evers has the ball here in the second overtime. Swaby inside. Missed the layup. Fight for the ball. Ward tracks it down. Here comes Brooklyn. Up by four points. 44 seconds to go. About a 16-second difference. Game clock and shot clock. Brooklyn College trying to play keep away. Midcourt Wood setting up the offense. Losing the ball. Gets it back. Midcourt Confino. And he's fouled intentionally by Jovan George. And Niv Confino will get two free throws to try to put Brooklyn College up by six. With 29 and 7, 10 seconds to go here in the second overtime. And we saw Niv Confino miss his last two attempts from the line. He's two for four on the day. Let's see if he can improve that mark here. Hit some necessary free throws to try to break the streak for his team, who's so hungry here in this double overtime. Brooklyn just looking like the team who wants it more. Second free throw, first free throw is up. It's good for Niv Confino to give Brooklyn College a five-point lead with 29 and 7 tenths seconds to go here in the second overtime. Niv Confino has 13 points for Brooklyn College. Second free throw, knocks them both down. Brooklyn up by six, 29 seconds to go. Medgar Evers has the ball. Left wing George pivots, left wing Danbreville drives inside, losing the ball, and a bounce, and it was last touched by Giovanni Danbreville, and Brooklyn College up by six points will take over with 22 seconds to go in the second overtime, and Austin Wood is fouled intentionally by Joan Carlo Vanilla. Austin Wood will get two free throws. Brooklyn College 20 seconds away from ending their 11-game losing streak. And Austin Wood, another opportunity at the line we saw Wood had the opportunity to seal this game. Was Found himself at the line at a tie game with two seconds left at the single overtime. Missed two free throws, and that's why we're here in double overtime. First free throws in and out, no good for Austin Wood. That's three straight missed free throws here for Austin Wood in the overtimes. Second free throw. He goes one for two, a three-possession game. 94-87 Brooklyn College. 20.7 to go in the second overtime as Brooklyn College calls a 30-second timeout on the verge, as I mentioned, of putting a stop. It's a full timeout of putting a stop to their 11-game losing streak and giving Medgar Revers an eighth straight loss. And for the first time all game, we've seen the Bulldogs be able to mount a lead get back, protect that lead. Something I've preached about the entire night yeah. here are the Bulldogs just having the inability to be able to get that lead and defend it. So far in this double overtime, maybe it's because of this the fatigue being set in on this Cougar squad, but the Bulldogs finally being able to get a lead and holding onto that lead when it matters most here with 20 seconds to go in double overtime. It looks like the Bulldogs may be able to break that streak. I'd hate to jinx it here, <laughs> but looking at the scoreboard here, it looks like the Bulldogs might be able to pull it off, Adam. Just, just needs to play straight up defense without fouling right now. It's a three possession game, 20 seconds to go in the second overtime as Brooklyn College has just shown great resilience here this evening. Just such frustration over the last month and a half. Have not won a game since December 9th. I will say that right now. On the verge of winning their first game since they played at the doghouse against John Jay and won that game going away. But that was their last win. And now about they have a chance to hand Mecca Rivers an eighth straight loss. Mecca Rivers has the ball. 17 seconds left in the second overtime. Left corner, George, three-pointer, in and out, no good. Fight for the ball, rebound, Baptiste, and he's fouled intentionally by Joan Carlo Benilla. And Valden Baptiste will go to the free-throw line, try to give Brooklyn College a nine-point lead with 11.9 to go here in the second overtime as the fans that traveled here to the Cougar Cave at Medgar Evers begin to chant Brooklyn. Absolutely. These fans having a great time over there. These Bulldogs are going to enjoy their first W. And as hungry as they are for that W, these fans are hungry as well. They've been on a losing streak themselves as well.
First free throw is good for Valden Baptiste to give Brooklyn College an eight-point lead with 11.9 to go here in the second overtime. What a game we've had here tonight. Second free throw for Baptiste. It's good. Brooklyn leads by nine. 11.9 to go in the second overtime. Medgar Evers has the ball. Into the front court, Swaby dribbles to the right sideline. Four seconds to go. Looks like he'll just dribble it out right here as Brooklyn College will win their first game since December 9th. The 11-game losing streak is over at last. And Medgar Rivers falls for the eighth straight game. Brooklyn College returns the favor, defeating Medgar Rivers on their floor like they did to Brooklyn College three weeks ago at the West Quad Gymnasium. A much-needed victory for Brooklyn. A sigh of relief for the Brooklyn College faithful. They win this game in double overtime over Medgar Evers, 96 to 87.